Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today, I thought I would show you guys how you can figure out a chord progression behind a melody. And the example I'm going to be using today is from a weekly lick video I did last week that was all about tapping. Uh, when I wrote that lick, I didn't really have any idea what I want the chord progression to be. Uh, I just thought uh, the way that the licks start off sounded really good. So I just kept looking for uh, the next good notes. And then I thought about what the chord progression was going to be later. So if you haven't seen my weekly lick video on tapping from last week, I highly recommend you to check that out first. That way you understand what the lick is all about and know what all of the notes are. Uh, but I will still give you a step by step on what are the notes in this video, but I won't be going as in depth as I did in the weekly lick video. Alright, so Let's get into it. When I wrote the lick, I didn't really have any sort of idea what I would want the chord progression behind it to be. All I was thinking about in the moment was writing a lick that just has a lot of tapping in it and doesn't sound half bad. So the way that the licks start off with is a hammer on from nowhere on the 5th fret of G, and then the 7th fret of D, like that. So, that, so those are the first few notes of the lick. Now let's say you're trying to pull a chord out of those notes. So what you can do is try to analyze what those notes are. So that first note I just hit is a C. And then the next one is an A. The next one is a G. But I'm sort of using that as a passing note to get me up to, get me up to A. But since G it's just my passing notes, we're just going to be focusing on these two notes. Now there are a bunch of different chords out there that has these notes. You can use it as a D minor 7. And there's also uh, A minor, which would also work with that. And so the chord that I ended up uh, choosing is A minor. Because I, I just thought, you know, it sounded good to me. And then after I figured out that A minor would be my first chord, starting to hear, like, all right, what I would want the next chord to be. So when, now that I got, like, my one chord, I, I realized that when I go over here, When I do that pull off, I would want to switch to a different chord. So I just started, I just started thinking again, like, all right, so. So what kind of chord can I put behind there? And again, I analyze the notes. So A to pull off to, to D. And then there's C, D again and pull off to the harmonic of A. So you have a total of three notes. So you have your C, then D, and A. Since we are in the key of C major, I thought, oh, you know what? I could just use C major as my second chord. And now I have a more of a better idea on what I would want my chord rhythm or timing to be. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to stick with uh, half notes. Alright, so, so far, A minor, and then C major. And the next part of the lick goes like... Alright, so slide from G to A. Tap on G. And then slide back to D. Now that I figured out the notes, I kind of want my uh, bass note to be a G. I just thought, you know, it sounds good. But then I remembered, you know, it would be pretty boring if I just stuck with. So I thought, you know what, I should change it up a bit. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a G sus 2. But instead of playing it up here, I thought it would sound better if I played it down here. 
And in this chord, you have your A, D, and G, which is all of the statement notes that I use to, to play that. And then the next part goes something like... Now I'm back up to A. So I thought, you know what, I can just go back to A minor and then play A minor again to start the next progression. So... And then in the lick, I pretty much just play the exact same thing all over again. So the chord progression I figured out was... And that is pretty much how I pulled a chord progression out of a melody from my last week's video on the tapping lick. So again, how do you pull a chord or a chord progression out of a melody? All you need to do is just analyze the notes and figure out what kind of chord you can build with those notes. Once you figure out that first chord and you figure out the mode or key that the melody is in, everything else is just going to fall into place. Alright, so I'm going to wrap up the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and if you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video.